Hi, and welcome back to another Creations with Christina episode. The other day I shared with you a comparison video of the Silhouette uh, die cut machine and the Cricut Expression. And um, I had somebody post on my blog to ask me if I could figure out how to do, say, a stamped image, scan it in my scanner, and upload it to my Silhouette software so I can cut out the shape to that, say, stamped image. And I thought this was a great idea, so Nikki, one of my blog followers, kind of challenged me. So I sat down and I figured it out, and I want to share it with you today. So one of the things I'm not very good at is if I, especially if I'm going to use a stamp and do some Copa coloring, if I wanted to cut around the shape instead of just doing like a square or an oval shape, that I wanted to be able to actually have a cutout of that shape. And I thought, well, this process is going to be really easy to to kind of incorporate into that. So what I did was I took one of my stamped images and scanned it into my computer and I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements 9 to um, kind of create my image that I'm going to upload into Silhouette. So I'm going to go ahead and select File, Open. And I'm going to look for, I have an image that I scanned and it was a um, image by CC Designs, it's called Party Bella. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And what it does is it automatically opens it, opens it into an 8.5 by 11 um, image size. The background part of it is 8.5 by 11, but it is white. And I need that background to be a translucent or transparent background. So the first thing I'm going to do is over on the left, I'm going to select the Magic Wand tool. I'm going to come back over to my layer and just click. And what it does is it creates a um, kind of dotted line around all of my images, including the outside shape of my uh, stamp. I'm going to come over to the left again and select on the Erase tool, except for I'm going to right-click and select the Magic Erase tool. I'll go back over to my layer and just click, and it automatically erases the background. Now there are two little sections down here on the bottom that didn't erase. So what I'm going to do is come up to the top, do select, deselect, and that'll remove all of that little um, outlines. I'm going to come back over to my magic erase tool and I'm going to right click and select the erase tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and erase that little line here that's still left. And that's all I have to do. Up at the top here is the Move tool. It's the one with the little arrow. I'm going to select that, and it creates a little box right around my image. I'm going to hit the Shift key and rotate my image until it's going um, in the right direction because it was kind of on its side. And let me try that one more time. Shift key and the Rotate and I'm going to make my image going in the right direction. And then I'll hit the little green check and then move my image over to the center. Okay, so that's all I have to do with that. The next thing I want to do is I want to give fill in the area of my stamped image because when you bring it over to the Silhouette software, it's going to look at all of those little lines if I did it just this way. I really just wanted to look at the outside and the silhouette of the, um, the image. So I'm going to go to the right and add a layer to my mat. So I'm going to click on the Create New Layer. I'm going to head over to the um, left-hand side and collect the, or select the Rectangle Marquee tool and just create a little box right over in my image. I'm going to make sure my palette down here on the bottom is selected for black and white, and I'm going to make sure the black is set as the foreground color. I'll select the paint bucket tool, which is also the fill tool, and just click and drag and fill in, or not drag, but just click into my rectangle that I created and fill that in. So the next thing I want to do is bring my stamped image forward. So I'm going to head over to this uh, right here where it says layers, and in between layer one and layer, well, they call it layer zero, I'm going to put my cursor, hit the Alt key, and I'm going to get a double circle. Once I click, you'll see that my image then is brought in as a silhouette image. So I'm going to head up to the top where it says Select, hit 
deselect. And now I'm ready to go ahead and save this. And I want to do a file, save as. And I'm going to go ahead and change my format to a JPEG. I already went ahead and saved this, so I'm not going to save it again. So I'm just going to hit cancel. But you would just hit save. Remember where you save it because you're going to need to open it up in your Silhouette software. Now I'm going to head over to my Silhouette program. And I already have it opened. I'm going to do File, Open. And I named my image Party Emma. So I'm going to bring, click on my Party Emma JPEG, hit OK. And this is one of the first ones I did where you see that this little line that I didn't erase here is still there, but I'm not worried about it because I won't select that um, in a little bit. So the next thing I want to do is this automatically brought it over as the 8.5 by 11. Um, that's why I said that it, uh, I usually keep my canvas size about the same size, which is 8.5 by 11. But if you have it something different, remember what it is because when you bring it in, it'll keep that uh, proportionate and it'll be the right size to fill your stamp. Um, if it should change or it should be larger, you just go up here to where it says the uh, scale, open scale window, select your image, make sure there's a box around it, and then you would just type whatever it was that you did in uh, Photoshop. So it already applies, or it already has 8.5 by 11 here. The next thing I'm going to do is select the little square that has a blue square in the inside. It's called the trace window. We're going to trace our image to create our cut lines. So I'm going to select open trace window and then I'm going to select trace area. And we're going to create a little box to go over that trace area and you'll see what it does is it creates a yellow outline of my image. The next thing I need to do now is go ahead and select Trace Outer Edge. And once I did that, and you'll see I did keep this little area, so I'm just going to hit Command Z because I want to go back and do my Select Trace Area again and not select that one little spot there that has that gray mark because it does pick it up. So I selected my image again. I'm going to do Trace Outer Edge. And now what I'm going to do is just take my image and drag it away. So I'm just going to drag it right off my cutting mat. So I'm going to put it over on the side here. And now I'm left with a red outline, which is now my cut to my stamped image. Because I like to have, um, especially with stamped images, I like to have a little bit of a white border. I thought what I would do is do this and create a kind of a shadow for my image, kind of uh, give it a little bit of a white border around the stamp. So I'm going to select my image, right click and hit offset. When I do that, it automatically opens a window over here on the right-hand side called Offset. And you can see that border is pretty big, and I really don't want it to be that big. So using the little slider over on the side here where it says Offset Distance, I'm going to go ahead and reduce that a little bit. And I think I'm going to put this down to about 0 0.035. And that, pretty, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take this image, which is my outside image, and move it up here to the top, select my original image. I'm going to delete that. I really don't need that anymore. Selecting my image again, and because I'm using a heavier cardstock and I want to multi-cut, I'm going to go ahead and copy my image. So that's just a right click and select copy. I'm going to right click again and paste in front. So I've just created my multi-cut layer. The next thing I'm going to do is use my, um, uh, put a box around my image, and it's selected both of those images. I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to hit group. So now my images, my multi cut is grouped together. The next thing I want to do is using over on the uh, top right here this replicate window. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm actually going to fill my page with as many of these cuts as I can because what I'll do is I will cut a whole bunch of these out at one time and put them right with the stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate right. And I could just keep doing that until it's filled. So I think, let's see, I will be able to get um, five images going across. I want to be able to create a, a row of those right below that because uh, I want to cut as many as I can. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them again. 
I'm going to right click group and then I'm going to select the duplicate duplicate below and you'll see it brings a layer down and I'm just going to put a little space in between those and that's it. I'm ready to go ahead and cut these out on my uh, favorite Copic cardstock that I like to use for Copic coloring and that's the paper tray ink. So um, next thing I want to do is just show you quickly how to save this. I'm going to go ahead and do file, save to library because I'm going to save this right into my silhouette software. I'm going to name this CC Designs. That's the name of the company, Party Emma. Or maybe I'll do Party Emma and then CC Designs after that. So we'll do Party Emma CC Designs. And then I can go ahead and start doing um, keywords. So if I want to call this, I'll just put a little cursor in there, stamped outline. And you can name it whatever other things you want. I'm not going to really go ahead and do that. You can write a description of what it is, who the artist is. I'm just going to call this me. And then I'm going to select my category as just a regular cut. And then I would just click OK. If I head over to my library under my recent or my own designs, and you'll see that I have all of these here. I already did Party Emma twice, uh, only because I filmed this twice. So, But this is the one right here that I just did. And um, all you would do is double click, and it would automatically open into your design software and show on your mat, and you just have to cut it out. So that's a great way to take your stamped images and create your own outline to your stamps without having to take the scissors and cut around and do all that little detail, which I am not very good at. So if you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching another episode. I'll see you next time.